I'm looking for Bridget. Have you seen her? There she is. Oh, oh okay, thanks. I'll talk to you later. Where have you been? Oh, I just went for a walk. I'm really nervous about being on the stand today, you know, and I didn't want to get up there and just start babbling and babbling and babbling, so I thought I'd calm down what's going on. Bridget, I'm sorry I didn't wake you last night. Your Uncle Ed called. You were sound asleep. Is something wrong? It's probably not serious. What is it? Tell me. Calm down. It seems like Ross has a little legal trouble of his own. going to set your bail. Listen, I have everything figured out. I know that they see it's your assets. Um, could I have a moment alone with my client, please? Okay. I wrangled a blank check from my mother. Thank you, sweetheart, but it's not money I need right now. It's Nadine Cooper. watching our house anymore. Got the foggiest idea, Nadine. <laughs> Why, didn't Bus come home last night? No, he didn't. I'm really worried. He wasn't there, and he didn't take his medicine. He could be sick someplace, or the police could have picked him up. Oh, well, I, I think we would hear if he was arrested, don't you? Perhaps they got tired and had bigger fish to fry. All I know is we've got to come up with that $140,000 that you promised. Because if, if Buzz has been picked up, the police is going to want that $140,000 to replace the money that he took. I am working on it, Nadine. Jenna, this is all your fault. You know that, don't you? Because the only reason Buzz got into trouble was to finance those crazy dreams of yours. Would you just calm down and listen? I'm expecting the money any moment, and I'll get it to you this afternoon. Well, good. I will be over at Frankie's. Wait, 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 Jenna. I just... I have to ask you a question. And please tell me the truth. Is Buzz with you now? I think this would be the last place he would go. Buzz? Buzz? Hi. Oh. It's at 9 o'clock, right? Yes. I just expected you would come on your own. Perhaps you also expected that I was a stupid woman and did not know what is mine. Yeah, I just thought that maybe before I pay this $140,000 price tag for your lotion business, that we should sit down with its rightful owner. Thieving ways, huh, Buzz? The hell are you looking for? What about the trial? Like, well, we're supposed to be in the courthouse in just a couple of hours here, Dylan. Well, Sid Dickerson has asked the judge to postpone the trial. What? 
He is Vanessa's lawyer. He should be thrilled with this advice. It seems that he's Ross's lawyer, too, now. Oh, great. What is going on here? I don't know. Hopefully the whole thing will be wrapped up by the end of today. If everything goes well, the case won't be postponed for more than What if it doesn't hours. go well? Huh? Don't know that Ross him sunk. Well, he'll be home by tonight. Ross, uh, Ed was on his way down to post bail when I saw... Where, where are you going? I'm, where do you think I'm going? Let's just stay out of it, Bridget. There's nothing you can do down there. I have to go talk to Ross. No, you don't. Let him take care of his own problems. You're just going to drive yourself crazy and add to the confusion. I can't sit here and do nothing. I'll climb the walls. That's why you're coming with me. No, Yeah, no. I talked to your Uncle Ed, and I told him I'd take you out, get your mind off no, things, I... and that's exactly what we're no, going to do. No, I'm not going anywhere. Maggie has agreed to fill in for you. What if he calls again? Then you call him back. Let's go. Dylan, no. Yes. No. That's what we're doing. Well... You're dressed perfectly. Where? Whatever... <laughs> you, you, don't worry about it. Be kidding me. Would I be would I be joking at a time like this? No, I guess not. What happened? Bail was denied. I mean, the bail hearing itself lasted all of 90 seconds. At least Jim Haggerty had the good grace to look embarrassed when he told the judge that I was a danger to the community. Oh, I could have screamed bloody murder and gone straight for his throat. Yeah, I know you would have, honey. Ed almost did. Well, I don't get this. How, how could the judge buy that? What? Haggerty claimed that I was a high risk, that I was a risk to flee with my partner in crime, whom they're still looking for, by the way. You mean me? No, Blake, not you. The person the FBI suspects other than myself, Buzz Cooper. You and Buzz Cooper in cahoots? I ah, know, I know. This whole thing is so damn absurd. Oh, so that's why you want Nadine here. Yes, Nadine. She knows that the money that they found in our house, it was put there by Paulie Hartman. But she's afraid that telling that story would damage Buzz, so I've got to talk to her and convince her that I'm on her side, I'm on Buzz's side. For heaven's sakes, I'll even be his attorney. Well, this is pretty unbelievable, but okay, I'll, I'll get her. Good girl. I love you and cherish you and thank you all the days of my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because that puts me in a really hot bargaining position for life, doesn't it? Mm. So you sign this prenuptial for me, agreeing to um, never divorce me? Yes, absolutely. No divorce. And will you promise to buy a tie for my father every year on Father's Day? Just kidding. I will get Nadine over here really fast. And, but wait a minute. How do we know that Frank's father is really involved in this? Maybe that's a big mistake. I can't tell you that. Ross, if you have information, you better tell the police. I can't. It's attorney-client confidential. Listen, you're going to have to clear out. No visitors allowed down here. I told you I'm his lawyer. No, you're not. I checked. Now, out. And don't come back. This little caper's gotten you barred. Okay. I bet it was that miserable Jenna Bradshaw, wasn't it? I cannot believe you're going to stand here and deny that this Leicester Square lotion did not start in my kitchen. Of course it started in your kitchen. I very freely admit it. It was based oh. on this little lotion that a lady mixed up at home. Based on? Excuse me, Jenna, but it is the exact same ingredients. It is uh, purified water, olive oil, uh, lemon juice, ginger, ca chamomile leaves, please. I mean, the only truthful thing on that label is that it's for hands that look as if they have not worked a day. I mean, that sums it all up to me. As if they have not worked a day. That's the operative phrase. As if they have not worked. On the other hand, I have worked extremely hard. You are a thief. <laughs> Please, Alan Michael, she's a thief. She has never worked hard to, to make anything herself ever before. She steals everything. I mean, she stole her jewels. She stole Spalding Enterprises from your family. She stole Buzz Cooper from his. I mean, <laughs> Please, I, I have given you the benefit of the doubt, but no more. The free ride is over, Jenna. You have crossed the wrong person this time. Eleni, I did not steal your formula. You gave it to me, don't you remember? I asked you what was in that stuff and you told me. I don't see what's wrong with this. Jenna, we're not talking about swapping goulash recipes here. I was prepared to give you a great deal of money for something that basically does not belong to you. Ah, but Leicester Square Lotion does. The name belongs to me. I have promoted it for months. That is the experience that you're paying for. So this is the big secret work that you and Buzz have been working on, huh? You know, Nadine was right. You have brainwashed him. You have hypnotized him like a snake. Buzz would never turn his back on me. He would never, he would never do this to me. Now, wait just a minute. This was my idea. All my idea. Now, if Buzz didn't mention it to you, it's probably because he assumed it was in the public domain, as so did I. But, of course, when I did tell him that you'd given me the ingredients, he just figured it was no big deal. 
Then he is much more gullible than I thought. But hey, that is no surprise to me because my entire family is gullible where you are concerned, Jenna. They helped you too much. I mean, they were too good to you. And how? How did you repay them? By stabbing him in the back. Exactly the same treatment that Buzz got. Excuse me. Jenna, I look around and I know how expensive a room like this is. Please, the minute you had the money, you shook Buzz Cooper and Fifth Street off your boots like they were mud. And you ran for a nice, fancy address, didn't you? You can say whatever you like about me. But I won't let anyone tell me that I didn't love Buzz. I never should have come in the first place. No, please wait. Eleni has brought up one or two interesting questions which I'd like to answer. She feels that I have never repaid the Coopers' kindness. What kindness? Well, they did give you food and shelter and clothing. And humiliated me time and time again. I remember those family meetings where we all tried to decide whether Jenna was good enough to set foot in your little diner. And then, of course, the verdict came down that perhaps she was not quite up to snuff where it comes to your precious Nadine. Do not speak ill of my mother-in-law. Whatever Nadine is, she is worth ten of you. And you have fed me, and you have clothed me. I seem to remember you wearing Harley's clothing, Jenna. It was all I could find after Nadine ripped every article of clothing that I owned and stuffed it into a dumper. And then you want to talk about my repaying your kindness. Who do you think paid for the stakes at your wedding? Who do you think paid for the operation of your little girl? You're so quick to credit good old Buzz. But where do you honestly think that kind of money came from? Could we get back to the business I would hand, be please? delighted to. Look, it is plain and simple. She is a thief. She stole my recipe and that is it. All you did was rattle off a few ingredients which I believe any housewife in Crete could do. That recipe has been in my family for generations, three generations. And it went rancid in two days. You couldn't use it. It was unusable. I was the one who figured out how to preserve it, how to market it, and how to give it a name. Well, you can call it anything you like, Jenna, but you and I both know that it is mine. It is a totally different thing to mix up a home remedy for diaper rash. It is completely different to make up a formula that will be mass-produced. I stayed up night after night. I woke up every day and walked the streets to promote this until I was blue in the face. Now, please, pray tell me, what did I steal? My trust, Jenna. You betrayed my trust. And the one thing I hate most is to be played like a fool. Ah. Oh, well, perhaps we're not actually talking about me. Perhaps we're talking about Frank. How dare you even bring up his name? There was a rumor that there's been some trouble at home. Perhaps all this verbose outpouring of righteousness... No, is no, you're way out of line, Jenna. I am not going to stand here and listen to this, Al Michael. You can do whatever you want, all right? I'm coming with you. Oh, no. No one is going anywhere until I get my money. Where are you going? Got a bus to catch? You know, if I were you, Buzz, I'd be halfway to Kalamazoo right now. Maybe even further. But somewhere I could turn those marked bills into pesos. Certainly wouldn't be hanging around here, waiting for the cops to nail me. Oh, what makes you think they're not going to nail you? Oh, because I'm clean. I'm clean as a 12-year-old girl at her first Holy Communion. Hey. What the hell were you expecting to find here, huh? Something to roll me over to the cops with? I'm too late. I thought it was already here. I went over this place with a white glove. You know what? I'm going to make you clean this place up! Look at the mess you made! You know what? no sense anyway, because I'm leaving. Well, you got travel plans now? No, I'm staying put. I'm a parolee. I'm staying put in a nicer place. Well, where are you going to get the money, Paul? Hey, never you mind. You got a savings account someplace? But would I tell you if I did? You're a loser, Paul. No, I am not a loser. You fumbled 140 grand. No, 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 no. I spent it on my heart's desire. I got Ross Marler. A choice room at the penitentiary. And you did all my dirty work, buzzard. So you know what? You're gonna be in a cell right next to him. You're the chump. You're the loser. Really? You're forgetting something, aren't you? I mean, I know what I know. And probably I'm gonna tell. It's gonna be your word against mine, but I have somebody to back me up. Oh, do you mean Nadine? That's not gonna happen. Is that a threat? No. As a statement of fact. 
glad you're here. Come on in. Okay. I heard about Roth, and I'm very, very sorry about what happened. How would you like to be more than sorry about this? I beg your pardon? Are you alone? I, um, where's the baby? She's with her father. Why? Okay, good. Uh, can you go to the police station with me? Roth needs to talk to you. Well, I can't leave right now. I'm expecting company any minute now. Do you know what Ross wants? Yeah, he, he wants his career back and his reputation. He wants to go to court tomorrow and win that baby back. My nephew, who you took from Re Bridget Reardon. He wants to marry me in front of God and everybody. I'm sure Frank has received his engraved invitation. Please don't make this a really bad sick joke. What are you talking about? I'm talking about getting my fiancé out of jail. Just so we could get on with our lives. And anybody with half a brain cell knows that Polly Hardman has set Ross up. But you are the only person who can testify to this. Will you? How to control out of control children. Tonight at 11 on Channel 10 News. Which pig do you think should have won the Blue Ribbon? Definitely the brown and white one. No, it was the pig sow no, by it wasn't. country. It was the brown and white one. I think we should get back, get him back, no, don't you? We're gonna have some fun. Well, come on over. Here. Let's see. Three, please. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what you can do. All right. Thank you. Wait. Oh, oh God. Okay. You throw like a girl. I am a girl. Is there a pig no. going around here at the these? Yeah, only there by the lemonade stand. But don't drink any of that stuff. At least not straight. It'll kick out. <laughs> hey, don't tell anybody I told you. Okay, okay, I won't. Hey, Thanks. I got a better idea. What? You see those prizes? Uh-huh. Which one do you think Pete would like the best? Um, that one. Uh -huh. No, 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 it's a little gray dog thanks to it. Oh, sorry. This is not a prize. What do you mean it's not a prize? It's up with, uh, with all the other ones. Well, he's not like the other one. He's special. He's been with me a while. He's sort of a good luck chum. Oh, oh well, that's okay. I understand. I know what it's like to need luck. Oh, you're too young to be worried. Yeah, I wish. Okay, well, let's make a deal. How many things I get done? I got to knock down to get the pup here. Well, normally three in a row, but you get six in. Lucky's all yours. Deal. Wow. Here. <laughs> Shot. Three. Six. Stand back a little bit. Oh yes, sir. All right. One. Two. Four, five, six. I can't believe it. I totally did it. I can't believe that. Mm, here, puppy. Now, do you promise to take good care of it? Mm -hmm. okay. I promise. I promise my little boy will anyway. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so, uh, no more worrying, no more nudging me to go home? Okay, deal. But a phone call doesn't count as nudging, does it? Oh, Listen, if you want to find out how things are going to turn out for you, uh -huh. go over to Madame Vargas. She's new, but she knows what she's talking about. So this morning, she told me I was going to lose something today. So long. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. Come on, let's go. Bye. Thanks. <laughs> Madame Vargas. I'm not going in. Oh, there. yes, you no, are. Yes, you no, are. Come no, on. I'm not going to go in. Oh, there. come on. It'll be no, fun. Uh -uh. <laughs> Well, I know Polly had a grudge against Ross, but that doesn't prove anything, does it? Well, has he talked about getting even? Well, talking and, and acting are two different things. Oh, come on, Nate. Nadine, I'm... You're not stupid. Neither am I. Listen, Polly somehow got a hold of this stolen money. He broke into our house and he planted it in the fireplace. 
I really didn't know that happened. No, really. I mean, I hardly ever talk to Polly anymore. He proposed, I refused. He's very ticked off at me. I really didn't know. I would swear on a stack of Bibles. I did not know that your house was broken into. I think that's terrible. Yeah, but you know about the money, don't you? Listen, all Ross needs is for you to say that Polly had his hands on the money first. Now, I know you don't give a hoot about Polly. You're just trying to protect your ex-husband. For the life of me, I don't understand how this man fits into this. But Ross promised that if you help him, he will do everything in his power to help us. He'll even serve as his attorney for free. I can't help him. I can't. Well, I'm really sorry you feel that way, Nadine, because I'm not budging here until you do. Oh, Blake. To tell you the truth, I don't even know where Buzz is right now. I mean, he could have skipped town. He could have gotten caught. He could be hurt or sick or lying in a ditch someplace. I mean, knowing how crazy and stubborn Buzz is, it could be any one of those three, you know? But I just can't take any chances with his life because... as crazy as he is, he's still the most precious thing in the world to me. Yeah, I know what you mean. I feel like I have waited my entire life to marry Ross. You know what I figured out the other day? If you add together the date of my birth plus the digits on my driver's license, it comes out to Ross's exact age. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. Everything about that man is amazing to me. He's so decent. He's so good. It just breaks my heart to see him in that jail cell. <laughs> I can't imagine anybody suspecting him of anything worse than eating between meals. Nadine. Oh, come on. You gotta help me here. I can't bear the thought of Ross being in that jail cell any more than you can bear the thought of Buzz being there. So what are we gonna do about this? Oh, I've been told that there are two things that might keep Buzz out of jail and that about. I don't know. Maybe it could help Ross, too. One is to give evidence against Polly, and the second is to get the money that Buzz had the stolen money, if he had it, and return it to the police. Does that make sense to you? Is that well, right? I'm not an authority, but yeah, sure, it's reasonable. Well, now I wonder if Buzz can't do this himself because he's not here, or if the police will let me do it for him. Uh, they just want to solve the case, right? Nadine, does this mean you're going to help me? I I've got my car. I can drive right down there with you. I can't leave right now. I'm waiting for delivery. It's a very important delivery, but I could meet you there. Oh, uh, how about five o'clock? Oh, that's fabulous. Oh, yes. <laughs> Nadine, you're a very good person. Just like Frank. Okay, five o'clock. I'm going to tell Ross. Jenna, please step aside. No, I want my money. You are making a fool out of yourself. Alan Michael, you have to admit that I am the one with the vision. Oh, the eye of a thief. There would not be a product to promote if it weren't for me. Now, I deserve the money because of all my hard work. I thought you were going to bring cash. Well, I really didn't have too much time to go to the bank, Jenna. You know, what we have here, basically, is a basic misunderstanding. I did not come here to, to buy out anybody's fair share of this company. I came to buy sole ownership of something that, basically, you, you don't have any right to. Agent Jarvis. 
Your partner, Buzz Cooper, has been cited recently. So if you want to make a few brownie points for yourself, uh, tell us what you know before we bring him in, now's your chance to do it. I can't live with this anymore. Buzz and I are in it together. We have been for a long time. We started out with extortion, a little bribery, Lindbergh baby, Jimmy Hoffa. You're only making it Bill worse Aaron, for yourself. Judge Crater. I saw Buzz on the grassy knoll that fateful day. Has my fiance come back? I wouldn't know. As I recall, she got herself barred from visiting. You, uh, want these? Return to sender. Oh, yes, Your Honor. Paul even admitted to me that he had the money. Well, no, nobody else was around. But he was throwing the money around. He bought me a diamond ring. But I don't have it as proof I gave it back to him. Oh, Your Honor. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. All right. Where is it? Where is the money, Jenna? Where is it, Jenna? Oh, no, don't. Don't. Don't tell me. Don't tell me you don't have the money. I was as close to it, as close as I am to you right now, lady. Jenna, I am going to break every bone in your body. Now, that wouldn't really help us, would it? If we don't come up with $140,000 to give to the police, Buzz is going to go to jail. How could you? How could you turn up and be handed? Go something. Like what? I don't know. Don't you have any ideas in your brain? None that I would share with you. Don't you realize, Jenna, that when you make a promise, people are counting on you. Maybe a lot of people are counting on you to keep that promise. Oh, am I crazy? Why did I even think that you could come through? You have never come through with anything in your whole life. That is not true. I have come through for your family over and over again. Oh, that is a bunch of baloney. You know what you do? All you do is make a lot of claims. You get all dressed up and you sashay around and pretend that you have all these connections. But when push comes to shove, you just don't deliver. Uh, well, at least I bloody well try. What do you do? You sit here and twiddle your thumbs. 140000 is a lot of money to get a hold of. And if it was that easy, then he wouldn't be in this situation, now would he? Well, maybe you did try your best. But you know something? Your best is your very worst. I am going to try. Just try to remember who does and who doesn't give a damn about Buzz and be a lot more careful about who I trust from now on. What's your point, Nadine? That I'm no good for Buzz? Do you hear me arguing with you at any point? Nadine! What was that? Shh! Nadine! Is that Buzz? Yes, that's Buzz. I'm going to keep you out of sight. If he sees that you're here, he's going to ask me why. And then I'm going to have to tell him that you disappointed him all over again. And I'll tell you something else. I don't want you hanging around this house anymore. I'm going to take care of Buzz and my family on my own from now on. So why don't you just... Why don't you just go back to your little hotel room and then treat yourself to room service or something? Be right with you. Oh, wouldn't you know they put me right next to the livestock and all my allergies are kicking up. But it's the price you pay for being sensitive. So, so what can I do for you? This young lady would like her fortune read. Oh, well, dear, I'm sorry. I don't really do that. I mean, well, I could I could say something, but I, I wouldn't call it a bless you. Bless you. Oh, thank you. I wouldn't call it a fortune. Well, how does she cost? A dollar a minute. That's what the manager insists on, though. Frankly, I think it makes me sound like a disreputable motel room. Well, uh, why don't you just give us the works, then? The works? Well, yeah, whatever that is to you, you know. I don't know. Don't you have a crystal ball? A crystal ball? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, well, somewhere. The manager told me that people would be asking me for a crystal ball, so he... So he gave me one. Well, he also gave me the name Madame Barber. Well, I guess he didn't think that uh, Winnie Hasselbaum was exotic enough. <laughs> oh, Here, let me help you with that. Oh, oh. well, thank you. Oh. Uh, well, can you use that? Can you pay me a dollar a minute? Well, I, well, I'm new at this. I mean, I'm not used to all this paraphernalia. I only started playing the games and the carnivals after my husband died. But it keeps me 
It keeps me out of the house, you know. Well, yeah, I think I've changed my mind. So Why don't, uh, can, you, can you read her palm or something? Oh, yes. Well, naturally, I can do that. Here, dear, give me a hand. <clears throat> yes. So, right. Now, then. Here we go. Well. Great victory is in your future. What? Soon. You win something very close to your heart. Well, it's been years since I've been to a state fair. Yeah. <laughs> Everything smells like cotton candy. Uh, sure you don't want to go, go check out the, the sheep? I guess I'm sure, Ellen Michael. Please, I have spent plenty of time in Crete to see enough sheep for a lifetime. Look, you know... We should go back to the car. I, I don't know why I even wanted to come here in the first place. You angry with me? Why would I be angry with you? I just... I just want you to know that I would have never gotten involved in business with Jenna if I thought that she was ripping you off. Look, I, I never thought that in the first place. Oh, Michael, to be honest, I thought you were angry with me. Look, I know how caught up you were with all of this with Jenna and the lotion, and this is going to be your new business. This is going to be your project after Spalding. I... I'm feeling really bad about this. Don't. I'll I'll come up with something else, all look, right? Look, I, I did not want to stand in your way. I, I have no objections about you selling the lotion if you think people are going to buy it. Eleni, I can't do that. Look, I would be no better than Jenna if I was to use your family's recipe and go into business without you. Well, perhaps then you think that there's something I can do to help. That, that wasn't a ploy. I, I mean, I wasn't... I, you know... Did you have something better to do? Not really. Uh -huh. I just kept thinking, why is he talking to this lady about lotion and business when anybody with two eyes could see that that's not what you're thinking about when you look at her? Uh-huh. Well, thank you for sharing. Why don't you, uh, why don't you stick to your job instead here? Mm -hmm. You're the boys? That's right. Come in. Well, how much will, uh, how much will this get me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Uh. Who's what? That's Whoa. it. See this? Mm -hmm. That's your lifeline. It's good and strong. Though I must say your love line starts a bit late. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's bright. <laughs> oh, I see. I see a great pain in your heart like a dark bruise. I'm sorry the last two years have been so difficult for you. One loss after another. A mother? No. No, not a mother, but someone like a mother to me. My Aunt Marie? May she rest in peace. She loved you dearly. But then something else quickly followed. A bruise on a bruise. A child? Well, not gone. But out of your reach. And what else? A farm? A horse? A man who owned a horse? And a farm? Three losses in a row. You said something about a win, too? Oh, yes, a very great one. Well, what? Can you see that? I mean, what is that? Well, it's cloudy. But I think it may have something to do with that. that that's amazing. Mm. How, how do you do that? You want to know the truth? Anybody can. No. no, I don't think so. Oh, come, sit here, and I'll show you. Come on, right here. All right. Now then, sit down. And... Mr. Barker. How you doing? And take her hand and say the first thing that comes into your mind. Okay. Well, that's all I do. And if nothing comes, 
Well, just look into her eyes. What do you see? <laughs> what I see is... <laughs> is that all your losses are over. From now on, every day will be better than the one before. And there'll be a tall, fair-haired stranger <laughs> who'll make sure of it. You may have two left feet. You may not be too good with words. But the biggest thing he can think of in life is to see you happy. How am I doing? Well, I definitely say you've got the gift. <laughs> That's for cousin Nick. Here we go, and there's Aunt Alex. Oh! Oh! No. Ah. <laughs> we really ought to try this already. It's, it's really great. It's better than therapy. A lot cheaper too. No, 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 no. Don't, don't. Oh, come on. Put one in your hand. No. Here. I'm sure you. I'm sure you can picture somebody out there, huh? Wind it up really good. Look at that little kitty. Okay. Face. Come on, come on. All right, Dad, take this. Oh. That's good. <laughs> nice. Nice little love. <laughs> what? Oh, just thinking about what he said is all. It just feels strange. You know, after everything that's been said and done between us, everything that we've been through together, be back in your life again. Right Dad, you choose to have me in your life and not, not have me run into you and in the street or, or at the diner. I just don't, I don't want to take advantage of you or, or pressure you in any way. Uh, did I, did I offend you? No, you know, actually I am glad you said something and I, I, I think I understand why you did it too. I mean, oh my God, my life has been so strange lately too. I, I feel like I'm living in some kind of big dream and it's in the middle of somebody else's life. But it's not strange because of you. And, I mean, it's not like we are trying to recreate some wonderful moment or something. No, 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 no of course not. No. I just think that we are better friends now than we were when we were married. I feel comfortable being with you. I mean, I, you know me. You understand me. I don't have to be careful of every word that I say when I'm talking to you because you understand what I mean. And no, I do not think that you are taking advantage of anything. Good. Good. We're friends, right? Right. After all of this, we're still friends. We're just talking business. Hey. Oh. Oh. That don't look good hanging from my car, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Thank you. Oh. I thought it was Peter. Are you all right? Where were you? I was trying to get myself out of this mess. I went over to Polly's hotel. You've been taking way too many chances. I got a nail on him. The only way to do that is to get some evidence that links him to the money. And I went over there and went through his rat trap, and I couldn't find a thing that he shows up. Did you two get in a fight because, Buzz, you've been too sick? Mm. Well, well, he made a phone call, and uh, I got out. I need to worry. It's not bad. I just couldn't get the money. For what? <sighs> to replace the money you took. Nadine, where are you going to get $140,000? I almost had it. I almost had it, and then the deal fell through, just like I should have known it would. It was like I flushed it down the toilet again. I appreciate the thought. Oh, Buzz, we're right back where we started. I'm so sorry. You're the one person in the world that I... But I try not to disappoint. I just keep messing it up right and left. You need a break. Or if you could be in a morgue or in a hospital. Out of my mind. Instead of just out of my mind. about clean clothes, here they are.
Just take off your stuff, throw it in the basket. They'll keep it downstairs in admissions along with your wallet and your watch. All right. You mind? I got another floor to cover. I'll be back. Provided by Clara Studio for Asymmetry. Jewelry by Irwin Pearl.